Hello everyone, Leo CMC here, and today we are here with Strong on the edge of the glowing sea in what seems to be quite a rough week for a lot of people. I don't know what's going on, man. Uh, a couple on YouTube that I really enjoyed unfortunately just broke up, and I wish the best for both of them, Tucker and Sonya. Um, it's really sad, because even though it's like, oh, I'm just some random viewer, it feels like after how long they've been together and how many videos they've done and live streams and such, you feel like you just get so invested, you know? And they both posted the same video of them together talking, and it's a very sad situation, but they did their best to, like, put it in the proper way and say, it sucks, yes, it sucks especially for them because they're the ones that were, you know, in the relationship, and yet just... You gotta, unfortunately, the worst part is you seriously have to ask people to be civil about it, you know? That's the really sad part in my mind. Huh, let me drop something different this time. But, I do absolutely wish the best for both of them. And, I know that they're gonna do great things apart, just like they did together. And then, in another situation, another YouTuber I watched, that being Syndicate, he, uh, he does a lot of Make-A-Wish stuff, which is, they help, it's a foundation that helps kids with debilitating diseases that may or may not la make it much longer. They try to provide them with one wish, something crazy that they can provide them, whether it be meeting a celebrity or going to a specific place in the world, crazy stuff like that. And uh, one of the kids that he did a Make-A-Wish for, unfortunately passed away in the last week, which is another really sad situation. Especially because, at least I relate to it a little bit more, I guess, just in the fact that I, uh, I've had a lot of family members, unfortunately, pass away for, from, uh, from cancer and all that. So I really relate to such a situation. It's so saddening to me. And it's, it was also just kind of crazy. I'm not big on watching his vlogs and stuff. I've been subscribed to the channel because I used to really enjoy them when they were from time to time. Now it's something he does a lot more, which is really cool, but... Oh, glad to see Nick's online. But uh, he was so saddened by this kid he'd only met a couple times at Max, and you can just tell how much he cared about him. And it feels like everyone's having a hard week, unfortunately. I know I've been going through it too, for different reasons. Sometimes I feel like I don't even know why, but kind of just gotta carry on, you know. It's funny because this is this is the second time I'm attempting to record this. I don't know why, but my laptop as of late keeps deciding that my special the mic that I use for recording just doesn't matter. And uh it constantly clicks that off and so I didn't realize it and I recorded an entire episode of this without the right microphone selected and I didn't even bother to look at it. I was like, Well, I can just immediately assume you can't hear me, so I ended that one and immediately loaded into this one, and here we are going again. And, uh, I did my best to make a stupid metaphor about this, try to get all philosophical and all that. Because it's kind of hard to get out of this mood right now, because I just, I feel so bad for so many people at the same time and stuff. Wow, there's four of them. And, uh, I was trying to put it in a way that was a bit easy to understand based off what's happening currently in that. Life's uh, life's quite a trip, and it may not be the most pleasant one in a lot of times. And it might not be in the best areas, so to speak, in your life, depending on the time. Hence, you know, kind of in the glowing sea, cesspool of disaster from one of the most cruel things in the world. A giant nuclear bomb just dropped on a location, you know? And it's, there's a lot of battles you're going to go through in life. And not all of them are going to be pleasant, but an important thing is you never have to do them alone, despite your companion, super mutant, getting down on the job, whatever. But the important thing is to know that in the end, it's always really worth the struggles in life. Sometimes it just doesn't always feel like it. And as random as it can be coming from someone like me, ooh, an incendiary, that rhyme too, even better. Uh, I'm just some random dude on YouTube. But I appreciate all the viewers, all the subscribers, those people who maybe clicked on one of my videos, thought it was crap, and left. I appreciate and care about all of you more than you realize, just because 
in my life, I feel like most people's lives, you go through those struggling times and it kind of makes you realize some things. And Usually whenever I get depressed for whatever reason, I, uh, I get really, I think a lot. And that may not always be the best, but I realize that so many lives are a lot more important than people like to let them know or kind of let them, yeah, I guess I worded it right, just weirdly. People don't always let you know how important you are in life, whether you realize it or not, and whether they say it to you or not. And a lot of lives have unfortunately ended too early, whether it was in their control or out of their control, and just such an odd offer, but if anyone had ever needed it, or ever does in the future, remember me, or remember my words, I suppose, when I say that I am absolutely there for every single one of you. Again, whether you watch a lot of my videos, a few of them, or you literally just randomly clicked on this one and decided to stick around for my monotone sadness voice. Whatever the situation may be, you're all important. And just know that somebody cares about you, whether it be this random dude on the internet, or it be your family, your friends. Sometimes we just don't express it properly. So... That kind of took up enough time to get me here. Stop right there, stranger. You approach Atom's holy ground. Why? State your purpose or be divided in his sight. I'm here because I need your help. Do you seek division? Have you come to merge with Atom, to be split in his infinite glory, or do you seek to tear down his followers? I'm looking for someone named Virgil. Virgil? Yes. We know this Virgil. What do you want with him? I need his help reaching the Institute. I have heard of this Institute. They hide themselves, trying to avoid the power of Adam. A futile effort. In truth, this Virgil has caused some concern. Some believe his presence is an affront to Adam. Though he came to trade with us on a few occasions, we have had little other contact with him. It was quite clear he wanted to be left alone. You can find him southwest of the crater, living in a cave. I would approach cautiously were I you. I feel he does not want visitors. Alrighty. Sorry, I'm just sending a quick text to a family member as I, uh... Whatever, situation's weird. Uh, these would be the children of Adam something a group i suppose a faction whatever that i find to be probably one of the one of the most interesting things in fallout there uh if you looked at all the unintentional well they're totally intentional like puns and references she made they're a group that worship the nuclear bombs hence like adam being capitalized and stuff and how you seek division all that stuff they're uh, a very odd group and they make weird appearances from time to time. I think I, I only know of like two or three locations total in Fallout 4 that uh, that I've seen them in. If you notice, they're literally just in rags sitting out here and all this radiation just living through it, which is so crazy. And they'll attack you with like radiation guns. I think they're called Gamma Guns specifically. They are such an odd faction. I just, like I said, I find them to be such a creative concept of people that are, like, worshipping the power of the nuclear bomb and all this fallout, quote-unquote. It's a very interesting creative concept to me, as I've repeated, like, four times. The mysterious Stranger. Really cool, because he appeared in my last video, too. In my last recording, he was there, too. And I rarely get him to appear, so... But, uh... So we were looking for Virgil, who is an institute scientist that managed to escape as he disagreed with what they were doing, I believe is the exact situation, but uh, he's somewhere out here hiding in the glowing sea because he expected to be killed for what he did, which he's absolutely right. So we traveled to where the children of Adam are, and we were like, hey, do you know where he is? And they were like, well, he's southwest of the crater. Thanks for asking. Hail Adam. And here we go. There's uh, specific enemies along the way if you follow this path, like those red scorpions will always guarantee to spawn, and there's one big enemy that's guaranteed to spawn directly in front of the cave where uh, we're going to find Virgil. 
There's also an Alpha Deathclaw that we missed along the way here. One that's guaranteed to spawn every time, I'm pretty certain. Oops. Main point is that we don't have trouble killing him because my last recording it was really easy. It didn't take long. Surprisingly, for an Alpha Deathclaw, it was actually really weak. Just tells you how strong you get later on in the game, honestly. Yeah, whatever. I let Strong handle that. Good job, Strong. I know you are, buddy. Don't worry. So we're already almost there. This is probably going to be a short episode. It's funny because I managed to cut down the recording by like 8 minutes. Which is really interesting. I think I just took a really weird path in my last recording. Now look on that hill right there. If you look at it closely, you can see something there. Just get the outline. Take your guess. I'll give you three seconds. Three, two, one. That's a death claw. This death claw is guaranteed to spawn in front of Virgil's cave at all times. Um, at least I'm pretty certain it respawns because I remember having to fight it more than once. Just how it works. Death claws are kind of ridiculous because they'll stag you with most hits and they'll pick you up a lot. Death Claws are very unfun to fight, in my opinion, specifically because they have really fast auto attacks. Auto attacks, wow, I'm thinking in a different game. And that, because they'll get staggered and then just casually pick you up, because that's how they work. Which, they can insta-kill you with that, given that you're weak enough. Or, in that situation, they do, like, no damage and just waste your time, because Death Claws. So, we just picked up a spatula off a dead Death Claw. Gonna leave that there. Just leave it in the air. Don't know what just happened. Moving on, this is Virgil's Cave. Virgil's Laboratory, otherwise known as Rocky Cave, which is funny because along the way we passed Cave. If there's anything Fallout does right, it's the name of its locations, right? So as you can see, we've got can chimes, disarm those. He's going to know you're coming regardless, and as you can see, he's got a spotlight, and he's got those two turrets there, and this is Virgil. Hold it. Take it nice and slow. No sudden moves. I know you're from the Institute. So where's Kellogg, huh? Trying to sneak up on me while you distract me? It's not going to work. I'm not stupid. I knew they'd send him after me. Take it easy. Kellogg's dead. Dead? He's... dead. Don't you lie to me! Did you? Kellogg was ruthless. There's a reason the Institute used him to do their dirty work for so many years. I knew they'd send him after me. Tried to prepare for it. But I still wasn't sure I'd make it. And so you... You killed him, eh? Then what do you want with me? I know you were part of it. And you escaped. They sent Kellogg to kill you. How the hell do you know any of that? No. It doesn't matter. I'm not going back. I can't go back! Look at me! Why are you even here? What do you want? I need whatever information you've got. Anything to help me get into the Institute. I'm sorry, what? You want to get into the Institute? Are you insane? Never mind how nearly impossible that is. Even if you were to succeed, it'd almost certainly end in your immediate death. What reason could you possibly have for taking that kind of risk? I'm trying to find my son. The Institute kidnapped him. Oh. Oh no. I had no idea. I'm sorry. Yeah. The Institute has taken people from the Commonwealth in the past. If your son is one of them, I can understand why you'd want to get in there. I can help. But I'm going to need something in return. You help me, and I'll help you. All right. If I help you, you're going to do something for me. Before I was forced to leave, I was working on a serum to reverse this mutation. It could return me to normal. You understand? So if you get in there, I need you to find it in my old office and bring it to me. I think that's pretty reasonable in exchange for helping you. All right? 
Let's talk details. First things first. You know how synths get in and out of the Institute? Yeah, they use some sort of teleporter. Well, well. Not many know about it. Pretty closely guarded secret. You've certainly done your homework. It's commonly referred to as the molecular relay. I don't understand all the science behind it, but it works. Dematerializes you in one place, rematerializes you in another. I'm sure it sounds crazy, but it's a reality. The relay is the only way in and out of the Institute. You understand? The only one. That means you're going to have to use it. Now, have you ever seen an Institute courser? Sure, lots of them. Don't bullshit me. More than one of them and you wouldn't be standing here right now. Coursers are Institute synths, designed for one purpose. They're hunters. Operations go wrong, a synth goes missing, and a courser is dispatched. They're very good at what they do, and you're going to have to kill one. Let's go. Just point me in the right direction. Well, I suppose your enthusiasm counts for something. Every courser has special hardware that gives them a direct connection to the relay in the Institute. It's embedded in a chip in their heads. You need that chip. But to get it, you'll have to find a courser. Now, I don't know exactly where you can find one. They haven't sent any after me. And sitting here waiting doesn't seem like a good plan. You are going to have to hunt one down. I can tell you where to start and give you some help finding one. But you'll have to do the dirty work. Tell me what I need to know. All right. The primary insertion point for coursers is in the ruins of CIT, directly above the Institute. So you'll want to head there. Now... The relay causes some pretty heavy interference all across the EM spectrum. You've got a radio on that Pip-Boy, right? When you get to the ruins, tune it to the lower end of the band and listen in. You'll be able to hear the interference. Follow the signal, and it'll lead you to a courser. Then, you just have to... not get killed. Not gonna lie. The odds aren't in your favor here. But if you do make it, remember what I said about the serum. I need it badly. I... I really do hope you find what you're looking for. <laughs> I don't really know how to properly say how awkward his mouth was in the final line there. It was so off of what he was saying. So that, like, just so you know now, that's like... It's not even... I did nothing. That was all the game being weird. We're gonna get the next point in solar, po solar powered. I'll have to get level 50 before I can start regenerating lost health from sunlight, which will be really cool regardless. Pretty sure I said my next perk... I want to be... Where is it? I want it to be the daytime one, didn't I? I don't know where that one is. I already forgot because it's been an episode or two. I'll find it eventually, won't I? I hope. It's obviously not in that. What am I thinking? Um. How have I not found it yet? I didn't realize I actually took rooted. That's actually really good. I need to start upping that in the future. Where's the daytime one? How have I not gotten that yet? How did I miss it's the better question. I went right past... I'm blind. That's the main point here. Unless this is it. I don't think... Oh, it is. Okay, I'm just stupid. We got two strength endurance between 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. with this, as well as sunlight slowly heals my reds. So now our build is getting much stronger. Now that I actually realized this was a perk that we can use. So now we have automatic regen, 
we get healed for radiation damage. Sunlight slowly heals our radiation damage as well as gives us extra strength between 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. in game. Ah, oh, dude, this is so awesome. I'm very happy with this. I think I want to go Animantium Skeleton in the near future as well as Max Outrooted because that's really strong. While standing still, you may automatically disarm enemies that use melee weapons against you. That's strong. Super bracers. Strongest casually uses the chem station. So, that was Virgil. He is an interesting dude. He is a scientist. He was human, and he got turned into a super mutant. And he was working on a serum to reverse that while he was... I mean, rads are part of a created you, dude. But yeah, he got turned into the super mutant, and while he was still in the institute, he was trying to work on something to heal that. When we go to the institute, which is obviously going to happen, we can potentially get into his lab, but we probably won't on this character. <laughs> Getting into his lab requires, I'm pretty sure, maxed out hacking. It's like a master level hacking computer, so I've never been able to do it yet. I was like, there's got to be a way around it. There's got to be a password we can find somewhere. Nope. You have to have master level hacking to even get in there, which is kind of ridiculous in its own right. Maybe I'll try and get on my other character and do it just so we have some sort of closure, especially because I feel bad just kind of taking advantage of the dude. But uh, that being said, thank you all very much for watching. I do apologize for the tone of this video early on. It's just sometimes you kind of got to get it out. Uh, this is Strong. He's a cool companion. We are currently in the glowing sea, as you can see. And uh, we'll make it out of here. See you guys next time.